What is up everyone, Wacky here, welcoming you back for um, a little update video on our SDS draft. So, I decided to make some trades, and I figured I made enough trades where I feel like it was kind of, well, obviously not necessary, but I feel like having a good update video would be nice. So, we made a lot of trades actually. Although we didn't really get rid of anything major. The main thing we got rid of was rain and our lower tier mounts. So we removed Polytone, uh, Kabudops, Mesprit, Mudsdale, and Audino. So basically what I did is I combined the I, I combined Polytone and Audino into Vaporeon. Because I already had a normal type of Heliolisk, which like, yeah, maybe having a bulkier normal would have been good, but um, I feel I feel comfortable as um, with my uh, typings. Um, like, I don't really feel like I am missing like a bulky normal pivot, like whatever, whatever on this team that people might think is bad, but. Um, Anyways, so yeah, Politoed, uh, Dino turned into Vaporeon. Um, Vaporeon's really good as like, like a wish support, um, as well as uh, pivoting. So, something like Marowak, for example, uh, which is another mon I obviously picked up. Um, that mon hits like a truck. Like, I legitimately think it has zero switch ins. Like, I don't know if there's a mon out there that takes less than 50%, like, from any of its stabs, especially, like, um, maybe, like, a fire normal type, but, like, who drafts Pyroar? <laughs> um, and I have High Dragon as, like, the bulky-ish, uh, dark dragon. And even then, I was facing a Lola Marowak, and I think you, you the other day, and Hydragon came in on like a Flare Blitz that did like 76% to it. So, and Marowak is no joke, especially paired with Deoxys Defense, um, who gets a lot of utility with uh, Spikes, Stealth Rock, Teleport, Trick Room, Fast Taunt. Like, people. People see Deoxys Defense and they're like, oh, that thing is probably like base 50 speed or something. Now it's like base 90. Yeah, it's base 90. Um, it's a low, it's low stats are basically it's HP and it's attacking stats. Its speed is actually really good um, for a really fat mon. Like, like, how can I compare Deoxys to something? It's like, it's like a Rotom form, but like more of a legendary. So, like, Rotom has, I think, 50, 50 or 55, and then, like, 10, 105 defenses, I think. I might be wrong. It might be, like, 106 or something. I don't know. But, um, it's, like, that kind of book, but with the 160s instead of the 105s, which makes Deoxys so much more tanky. And Deoxys is only weak to Dark and Ghost. Um, which Ghost is kind of an uncommon typing. Um, Dark and Ghost is also resisted by High Dragon. Um, and technically Chestnut because most of the Ghosts spam Shadow Ball. So, like, Chestnut just comes in on every Shadow Ball ever. Um, so. Yeah, it's really cool synergy there. Um, I'm trying to think of what else Deoxys gets. Yeah, Fast Taunt Teleport. Um, Spikes Stealth Rock. Uh, I don't know. It has like a ton of amazing coverage too. Although I wouldn't really say it's supposed to be running that kind of stuff. Like, it can run something like Ice Beam for like Gligar or um, you can run Knock Off gets knockoff too. Um, the one thing this doc actually is wrong 
Yeah, it's missing the fact that Torn T, Mega Scissor, and like Deoxys has knockoff. That's just something with the dock, considering how large it is, I think. So, um, yeah, I know for a fact it gets knock. Um, same with Marowak. Marowak, I already said that thing has zero switch ins. Um, and just together, I just love the idea of. Deoxys just coming in on something bulky and then taking a few hits, getting the Trick Room up, teleporting out into Marowak, and then Marowak just clicks buttons until it kills like two or three mons and then switches out Vaporeon Wishes and then flip turns into Marowak because uh, you don't even have to flip turn because the thing with Marowak is that the Lightning Rod makes it so it's immune to electric, although you're probably going to be running Rockhead more. But Lightning Rod helps, especially if you if you are comfortable just running Fire Punch. But more more often you're going to be running like um, Blair Blitz. Um, so yeah, like wishing into uh, Marowak as like the electric and the um, grass moves come out at it is amazing because often a lot of times you have to be bringing your electric or your grass to take out Vaporeon because Vaporeon just doesn't die and if they don't like you're still getting like free recovery with Vaporeon anyways so I really love the synergy there and it also synergizes very well with Weezing um, being able to wish and then also pass in on the uh, grass types that want to um, hurt Vaporeon, like um, like a Superior or Pangrowth, I guess. I'm like I'm struggling. I, a Zerud would be a perfect example, wish passing it to Weezing Galar because Zerud really cannot touch Weezing. And yeah, I just love the synergy that I have now. Um, the rain before was okay, but I figured it was more... I felt like it was more worth having a balanced team. With um, with Deoxys now, we have like a specially defensive wall. Not even like specially defensive, but just, just more of like a defensive switch-in. Because we have Weezing and Chestnut, but that feels more low tier. Now I'm happy to have like higher tier bulk. Um, did I say chestnut wheezing low tier? I meant to say they're like mid tier. I don't even remember what I said at this point. It's been it's been a long day. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, oh, and then our last mod, I completely ignored Sand Slash. <laughs> um, it's kind of just our Mudsdale is now Sand Slash downgrade kind of thing, like. It's not the worst thing ever. It has Stealth Rock. It also has Spikes and Rapid Spin, um, which I, I noticed fixing my team that I was adding on a lot more um, like Spikes and Stealth Rock. It's mostly Deoxys, but Sand Slash does the same stuff too. And I'm I figured I might as well get at least a Spinner. And Sand Slash was there. It also used up our last three points, so. Um, I'm not mad at all about picking up Sand Slash. Sure, it might only come to like one or two games, but I could say the th same thing about Mudsdale. I did not see myself using Mudsdale over Weezing and Chestnut. And like, as it is, I bringing like the top three and then like some combination of the the bottom seven is kind of what our games are going to be looking like so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed our update video it's a lot longer than i assumed it would be but um i figured i might as well um make an update video about it and i hope you guys enjoy your day